My 26 male, fiancé 26 female, pressured me into with a married woman 45 female because she previously had with her and her husband 47 male and says I had a better deal because I did it with the wife only. It's done for me. My fiancé cheated on me with a married couple in June of this year, 45 female and 47 male. Around August, she began telling me about this guy who wants to witness me have with his wife. I didn't want to do it at first. I knew what it was, but it always seemed strange to me. But my fiancé literally began begging with me, saying how the wife thinks I'm gorgeous and how she'd love to have me and so on, and how she wants it. After much deliberation, I accepted on the condition that, while I am having with another woman, I would not be happy with her having with another guy. As a result, she should not approach me. I was a jerk and a stupid. Everything is A, I squandered five years of my life for this I now find myself in. One weekend in early September, I had with my wife. That day, the spouse was at home. The intercourse was nice, but things seemed strange afterwards, so I left quickly. I was communicating with my wife through text message, and since my fiancé and wife asked for it, I had with her four more times. She revealed the true reason for this to me two weeks ago. She was feeling bad after having intercourse with them. As a result, he urged me to have with his wife in order to feel better. When I asked how it made her or me feel, she stated it made her feel wonderful even if her spouse was not around. I merely did it with my wife there, but he had to do it with his wife present, and that he within his wife rather than with her. While I was within the wife, I did it. I had an experience inside another lady. So, in some ways, I got a better bargain. What kind of reasoning is this? As if that filthy can touch me with his fingertips without breaking his nose. I'm staying in a hotel by myself to think about it all. A few days ago, the husband and wife attempted to contact me. I yelled at them to off. The degenerate woman and her degenerate husband may when I mentioned I was thinking, I didn't mean about the relationship. I haven't told her yet, but it's all over. She calls me at least 30 times every day. She's free to F asterisk CK herself. I'm thinking about what I'm going to do once I get out of this. The first two dash three days were very painful, but I'm getting better. When I'm feeling well, I fantasize about a lovely lady in her 30s slash 40s that I saw in a hotel a few days ago. At times, I simply want to smash something. I didn't do it because I don't want to spend money I don't have. And that would simply make me appear more dumber. When I think about things being over, I believe they ended when she began asking me to have with another lady. I was wondering why deep down since her justifications were completely out of my head. I'm not sure whether I should have finished it there. I'll get back to her in two days. I don't want to talk to her at all. So I'm simply going to contact her to let her know I'm done. And then in two days, I'll go grab my belongings. The house is hers, but I was in charge of the rent. It's for another two months. So I'll pay her rent in cash and then depart. Other than this, I'm not sure how to go about it. Is this a good thing? Is it even necessary for me to donate the money? I'm just doing it to get away as quickly as possible. What would you do in this situation? Do you have any additional ideas? Edit. For those who are curious, our funds are separate. As a result, no shared accounts, etc. She knew a few critical things about me, including my IG login and a couple emails. I modified them since one of the commentators suggested it. Edit 2. For those who are wondering why I went to her four more times to the wife. This was because she wanted me to and my ex-fiancé thought it was. My wife and I were communicating through text messages. Ex-fiancé was also present in the group, and she'd inquire about me, and my ex-fiancé would do the most of the talking. At odd moments, she'd want to know what her baby was up to, and my ex-fiancé would snap a picture of me and put it on Facebook. She asked if I wanted to have, and my ex-fiancé would tell me to leave because she thought it was attractive. Story 2. I'm, 18 female, kinda in love with my best friend, 18 female but she keeps making out with boys except she also kissed me. This is going to be a lengthy post, so please accept my apologies in advance. Moreover, English is not my native language, so please accept my apologies for that as well. So my best friend, let's call her Fiona, 
and I met when we were three years old. Her parents moved into the home next to mine, and our families quickly became friends. I'm not going to delve into family drama, but both of our families have been through a lot and have become closer as a result. They wanted Fiona and I to be friends since we were the same age, but we really despised each other, possibly because everyone wanted us to get along. When we were six, our parents sent us to the same school, and despite being in separate grades, we became friends with the same individuals. Her closest friend from her class was my best friend's cousin, and we hung out with another girl from her class. Despite the fact that we were in the same group, we weren't truly friends. This continued until we were 12 years old, when her closest buddy began to torment me and the other girl. It wasn't a huge thing, she used to tamper with what we ate and call us fat, she probably thought she was being amusing, but it sucked, and we started arguing all the time, until one day when it came to taking sides. Since we were 12, of course everyone had to take sides Fiona picked ours. She confronted her closest friend, told her to and stood by us. That's when we became friends, and we've only grown closer since then. She is now everything to me. We're 18, set to graduate from high school, and we still neighbors. Every day, for the most of the day, we see one other. Fiona remained at my home for three months during quarantine since her parents were important workers, and if we weren't tight before, we were now. In June of last year, I recognized I was definitely falling for her. Everything was italicized, even the OMG moment. The point is, after the quarantine was lifted, and it was safe to attend to parties, she began going to every single one of them, something she had never done before, and starting making out with guys. As though she would go out of her way to find guys to kiss. And that troubled me a lot, partly because it didn't make logic. It wasn't that she disliked them. She simply wanted to make out with them for the sake of making out. I saw her making out with a guy from our school about a month ago, and I was furious because she had nothing in her eyes when she looked at me. The youngster was completely enthralled by her, and she didn't care. That's why I don't understand why she's doing it. It's as though she doesn't give a so I started ignoring her, not even on purpose, but I did, and I know it's wrong. I knew it was a mistake since she was visibly upset. We went from conversing for 12 hours a day every day to barely even talking during recess. Until last week, when she used her parents' keys to enter into my home and demanded that we chat. I was relieved that my family was not around. I expected her to shout at me, but instead she sat on my bed and began chatting passively aggressively. She began telling me about her week and all she had done since I hadn't spoken to her and so didn't know, and I was furious. I told her that we weren't 14 anymore, that we didn't have to follow each other around all the time, and we just went back and forth like that for a long until I told her that of course things had changed, that she didn't go to as many parties or kiss as many males previously. She asked if I had a problem with who she was kissing and I answered no, but I didn't get what the big issue was, to which she replied that kissing wasn't a big thing. That's when I became enraged once again. She claimed that kissing wasn't a huge issue and that I wouldn't know since I'd never kissed someone before and I said something like how do you know that but she was already getting up and making me stand up and she said that it really wasn't a big deal and that she could simply demonstrate it to me. When I write it down, it sounds so stupid. We exchanged kisses. She kissed me and I attempted to kiss her back and it was oh so much. It wasn't a particularly lengthy or passionate kiss but my head just erupted. When we came to a halt, she looked at me with her eyes all misty. I'm not sure how to describe them, but she looked like a dream, and I told her she was right, it wasn't a huge issue. After that, I went to the restroom to wash my face, and when I returned, she was gone. It's been a week and she has utterly ignored me. She even informed her parents she didn't want me to come in. I'm at a loss on what to do. I feel like I made her uncomfortable. I really botched it, but she perplexes me so much. She's my best buddy, and I adore her. And I like her so much that I'm willing to put our relationship at jeopardy. But I don't believe she feels the same way. Please assist.